here, Mark Houlihan here with Mustang Monthly Magazine and the Mustang360.com network. We're in our tech center today with Danny Nix from CPP and we're going to be talking steering. Now we've got steering columns and we've got power steering. All this is in the CPP catalog and I want to know more about it. What are, what are we seeing here? Well, the heart of this is the 400 series steering box, which is power steering. It's an integral gear power steering. It's about a 13 to 1 ratio, which gives you three turns lock to lock. So Very sporty. And if it's a power steering car, you lose all that undercarriage leaky mess, right? Right. Yes, this is, <laughs> not only is it all new, but this is really all new technology. This is the same type of a valve that you would find in a rack and pinion. So you're going to get the same basic feel, which is part of why it feels so sporty, and plus the ratio. Um, and the fact that this is a really small, compact steering box, it's going to fit inside of the engine compartment. We shouldn't be doing any modifications nice. um, other than removing whatever was in there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, the rest of it's slam dunk. Um, beyond that, we got some pumps. We got the center link, the pitman arm, idler arm, inner outer tie rod ends, um, rag joints, U joints, uh, power string pump brackets to mount off all the Ford engines. Um, just basically everything you're going to need. Yeah, I see, you know, you have a remote reservoir set up if they have a tight, you know, engine package and they need to get mm -hmm. the, the reservoir off the engine, as well as a standard uh, reservoir style pump, um, hoses, and over here you've got a selection of steering columns, um, mill finish, a chrome, and is this a powder coat or, or a painted? It's a black paint. Okay. And that has the key, obviously, but you can, essentially the columns come into the three configurations in whichever option you want, whether you've got a shifter on the column or the shifter and the key on the column or a shifter on the floor, it, you can get it any way you like. Now, with our Week to Wicked Mustang project that we're working on this week, what are we actually putting in the car? So we're going to use an I did it Pro Light column. This will okay. be our first time using the Pro Light. Um, in order to make that work, because it was intended for a U joint, we had to make a new rag joint, which is the part right here. So you have a rag joint in the steering column, gets rid of those vibrations and it gives you a nice ride feel. Yeah. Uh, and you guys benefited with a new part number. Yeah, brand new <laughs> item just for this project. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, the steering box, obviously. We're gonna change out the hoses. It's gonna be an AN style hose because this accessory drive has got a late model type two pump. That's and right. Yeah. So we gotta switch it over to AN hoses. In this case, we're just gonna put a couple of adapters in where the hose would normally go and it'll switch over to an AN. We have the rest of the steering kit. We have the idler arm, the pitman arm, a brand new center link, inner outer tie rods. So this setup happens to be for our Granada spindle for Week to Wicked, but we can do the same thing for the OB style Mustang spindles as well. It doesn't make a difference. Um, one nice feature about doing all of this is that it's gonna fit the car. It doesn't matter what your ride height is. This is gonna work every time. There's not gonna be any surprises with an oil pan hitting the rack and pinion, or it doesn't work, doesn't fit. This is slam dunk. So we're getting ready to work on this car and getting some work done on it and getting this, all the this steering stuff installed and can't wait to get behind the wheel and see how it feels. I can't wait either. Yeah, I'm driving first. <laughs>